in the favor of Drini. It's going to be a great game, though. Ripping the uniforms of the Cowboys and Cardinals will call it the Emmett Smith Bowl. If you go back that far to remember the Hall of Famer Emmett Smith, he played for both those franchises. And it will be the Cowboys and Drini going first here. And this is a guy at only 20 years old has already done some very special things here, as you know, Skimbo. And as we jump to his abilities, Drini's got what that you like? Well, like I said, he's going to mix it up. So he's got this Eli Manning with this hot route master identifier, meaning he'll any route on the field and also see your usering. He has a good running back that's not showed, but he also has this John Ross and this Ingram, a wide receiver and tight end, that will be able to run these routes and catch the ball in traffic. And on defense, he actually has two secure tacklers, which is huge for his fault. And also, he'll be running the Raiders playbook, looking to mix it up in Dolphins on defense. Weird to talk about Calvin Johnson on defense, but that is one of those guys, and we'll get back to that as we look at both tracks. Williamstown, Massachusetts, actually up by the Vermont border, not really that close to Boston. Here's the ability look for Volt. Okay, so he doesn't have a quarterback, so we're going to see run, 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 and if you're going to do that, you want the best running back in the game. This Bo Jackson with human joystick. He has that identifier on his center. That Troy P is going to get busy with that lurker. And then on offense, that Raider. Same playbook as Drini, except every run you might possibly see. And on defense, the Baltimore Ravens. Alright, let's Madden. The rematch. Madden Club Championship back in December. That was a $25,000 game. Bolt won it 28-13. to Back then, Drini was repping Jacksonville, a tribute to True Boy. And now it's the Cowboys, because let's face it, that's just kind of good marketing. Drini signed with Complexity, affiliated with the Cowboys, owned by Jerry Jones. We'll see a lot of Eli Manning at quarterback, by the way. Gale Sayers takes that first burst and goes for eight. Yeah, both guys using Eli Manning, not so much to throw, but to hand it off, of course. One player here using Gale Sayers, who's been massive in this tournament. And Skimbo, you mentioned it. Volt is going with that golden ticket. Bo Jackson. Right, and like I said early, Drini came out shotgun. I thought surely he's not going to pass the ball early. Mixed it up, ran the ball, had it, and he's had two successful runs in a row. Like I said earlier, I don't really know how good Volt's run defense really is. We all know how good his pass defense is, but I'm not sure he has great run defense. So it'll be interesting to see as this game goes on. To your point, Skimbo, remember with the that Gale Sayers at the, the deploy there, 343 yards for Joke against Voltrax earlier in this tournament. And now Volt's got to try to stop Sayers again, and he does so at least after a, a decent gain here. That's exactly what I'm saying. As you see, Drini might pass the ball here because his running back's tired. But that's exactly what I'm saying. That's the game I was remembering is how poorly Volt's run defense was. And already it's kind of getting exposed. So... It, I don't know how much cleaning up he did in the past week. So much horsepower under the hood for this version of Gale Sayers, the Kansas Comet. This time it will be the pass play for Eli Manning. Over the middle, lobs it right there for Joshua Cribbs. Move those chains. Drini's got it going early. Now, in a game like this, sevens are always huge. And huge sevens are huge in every Madden, you know, because in other Maddens, you would drive down the field and, like, you had to get sevens because everyone could drive down the field. This year, it's hard to move the ball. So this is already a win that he's in field goal range. He doesn't need to get out of field goal range. This is already a win for Drini, his first drive. Lurking with Paula Mallory here, who closes in on Sayers and drags him down. We should point out that... In that 28 to 13 game we spoke of, that championship game in the Madden Club Championship, it seemed like Bolt blitzed his linebackers and safeties quite a bit in that one. Sayers turning the corner. Gail Sayers first down, out of bounds. Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. However. He's bending and he hasn't broke, so he hasn't gotten the end zone. His yell cellular's tired. He might even burn a timeout because this is a big drive. You're driving like this. You don't want to really mix up your play call than what you're not comfortable with because you know how big sevens really are. So to see Drini come out to play with his running back tires is actually shocking to me. Drini has only one seven in his last couple games in it today. He beat Mills seven to six. He lost to Kib. 16-3. Last two games he played on his way here today. 
And Manning goes down, goes down hard. There's the blitz that we were talking about earlier. Calvin Johnson, what are you doing on defense? That is the card that a lot of these players have picked up. 92 cap, most expensive card that Drini has on that side of the ball. Bolt uses him too. You know, it's like I always talk about, you don't want to burn timeouts. However, I felt like he should have because the run game was working so well. And then Madden, you know, you get sacked, it's hard to get a first down. So great defense by Volt, you know, to get that sack. I don't like the play call, though, by Drini. Ladled out, there's a tight end, Engram, who gets belted. So only a few yards are achieved here. It's going to be a third and 14. And Volt's not going to give anything for a first hour to the top. Draney's probably going to run the ball. Yeah, stumbling forward. But look at what Draney's been able to do here, bud. You're talking about taking basically four minutes off the clock on your first drive, kick the field goal. And like I said, it, it, at the end of the day, this really is a win for Draney to get points versus a runner because they spend all that cap on defense. It's so hard to score on, on guys that just run because their defense is just loaded. However, he was just moving the ball so, so well on the ground. I, like I said, I would have really liked to see him burn a timeout to get his running back fully juiced so he could have maybe kept running the ball. You see, he had to pass the ball. It didn't work out for him. He went backwards. The bandana swag is back for Drini. And just going back to that game they played that we talked about in the, the club championship final, when Drini moved the ball, Skimbo, it was a lot of jet sweeps to John Ross and things like that. He really didn't have that power running game. So this is a bit of a departure to go to that here. It worked for him, at least for three points. Right, uh, and like I said, the, 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 the run game was totally there. Volts gonna have to clean it up. But now, I would love to see, as they're gonna do their audibles, there's going to be a delay of game. That, you guys will see that play clock going down. There will be a decline. So this is a, like a gentleman's agreement, you know, to let them do their depth chart and all that stuff. So it will still be first and 10. However, what I'm saying, this is Volt's first drive on offense. So whatever run you've been labbing or run defense you've been labbing, let's see it right here. Volt, that stone-faced assassin. Will not see him smile unless he hoists a belt above his head. Trying to turn the corner with Bo Jackson dragged down. So it's four yards right away for Bo. And again, that's the golden ticket. Everything human joystick Bo Jackson here. CJ2K is suddenly outdated. And even Volturex has made that change. I mean, Volt's email, we've talked about this, includes the tag CJ2K the GOAT. And he's gone away from that card. Well, like I said, you, you just can't hold any favorites when you're building a team. Sometimes your favorite card can't be on the field. Chris Johnson did a great job with 100K, but this Bo Jackson with human joysticks is by far the best running back in the game, and you have to have him. He steps out of a tackle here, but then gets a whack to go down hard. So only three yards on two carries early on for this version of Vincent Edward Jackson, who's been so great for everybody who's used him. Yeah, and look for him to take it to quarter, so is Bo Jackson. He might snap the ball one second to keep him off guard if he can. However, watch Drini's user. Drini user is looping around and making every play. No snap before the end of the first quarter. And Volt, who has kept things pretty close to the vest and, and scores very low, right? He beat Boog 7-3 in his last game coming out of groups. Dirty little secret, I think, for Skimbo to uh, throw this to you. Volt was actually outscored in group play. Yeah, he was 2-1, and one, but he was outscored 40-38. to 38. And he's trailing here 3-0 and going nowhere on a third and seven. Yeah, and this game could easily be 7-0, 7-0 Drini right now. As you're going to see Volt bring out the boot, I don't believe he's going to show off his fake right here. It's too long of a down. He might do it later as he did the, uh, the very first game of group stage. But... Um, like I said, I feel like Dream really needs to get to this run game right here because Volt's just, his run defense is not good. It's just not good, and that's a, well, he's got a chance. Well, with Draney, you know, we've kind of referenced the fact that he's the, the lone guy in this field that runs a, a balanced book, right? I mean, you're, you're talking about coming in anyway at 176 yards rushing, 187 yards passing. Volt, for example, so far, he's at 420 yards rushing and zero passing in this tournament. So, Drini will try to mix and match a little bit. 
But I think he found something early with Gale Sayers that he liked and stayed with that on that first drive. More Gale Sayers, and this Big. time Bolt is ready for it. Big, and, and you know, this defense he's running that's very user-based. If, if his user, as you see, guys, he's lurking on that Troy P. If he doesn't shoot that gap, there's not a lot of cleanup that's been happening for him. So it really is user-based right now for Bolt's defense. Now looking to throw, and he's got that gun bunch available in the coverage, and there's Cribs on the cross to grab him. I love that mix-up. Bolt showed that he had a little run defense. So Drini just calls a different play. Finally, that's when I feel like you should mix in the past is when someone finally shows you run defense. She showed you run defense. Now look for Drini to go right back to the run here. But great mix of play call by Drini. And that's where it's a benefit of being able to mix up the call, uh, play call instead of just being one-dimensional a runner only. Drini, who actually finished third in the, the B group behind Kiv and Mills. He's got that early lead. And again, it's all about revenge for Drini. He was working on that third career belt. Only 17 belts have been awarded, keep in mind. Voltrax made sure he wouldn't get it. And Eli Manning is thrown down to the ground. It's just, I, you know, it's just Volt's, run, Volt's pass defense is very good, which a lot of people's pass defense is good in Madden 20 because of how great the players are and yada, yada, yada. But uh, Volt is different. His 3-3-5 three, three, or whatever he runs is very, very unique. Manning, good look to Cribs right after it was the all-Giants play before that. Lawrence Taylor decking Eli Manning. Eli able to thread the needle, go forward to Cribs. It's the first and ten. Great pocket by Drini, stepping up, getting around. You know, the, the edge rush was collapsing. He stepped up and found him wide open on a post route. Great pocket by Drini. Now he rested at Sayers. Maybe they go back to him, you bet. But no sale. Taken down in the backfield. There is Lawrence Taylor one more time. And at the two-minute warning here, the low-scoring game between Bolt and Drini. Again, this is the wild card round. We're looking forward to that quarterfinal round tomorrow. And already a great field with Noah matching up with Decroft. Got Clef and Lil' Man. Here's Sayers trying to bounce it inside. It's going to be third and long. As I said, it's very user-based on his run defense. Right there, he shot the gap perfectly with his Troy P. And now look for Drina to pass the ball. I, I think he needs only about, I don't know which kicker he brought. I believe he only needs about five yards for a field goal. Well, there's five plus. And it, I, I do believe it's Sam Ficken, who should be good from here at 54. This is his max. Trying to get it to six zip. And to the crossbar and over. It is 6-0 for Drini. That was definitely his max because he had about a one-mile-per-hour wind blowing against him. If it would have been three miles per hour, he might have been short. Great drive. Great drive by Drini again. But if you're Volt, you know you haven't been your best defense, and you're only down 6-0. If he pops off one run play with that stick work and that Bo Jackson, he takes the lead in a game so far, in my opinion, Drini has dominated. Jackson gets smothered, but you bring up a great point, Skimbo. Volt uses his stick work instead of abilities on whichever running back he's going to run out there. Just get the best running back, leave him alone, use my ninja skills on the stick, right? I mean, that's kind of the, the Volt directs M.O. Honestly, he was the first person doing that this year because he realized with someone with high spin, he didn't need a spin cycle or a jukebox. If, if it was against a CPU, he could spin him. Earlier this year, they let jukebox be able to, to out-user or out-juke a user. Later, EA passed the jukebox, so that means when someone clicked on, they weren't getting juked into the ground like they were the first couple months of Madden, so that's why people went away from it. Bo spinning right into the line here. Third down coming up and a timeout taken. There's still 101 on the clock. So if Drini gets this ball back, he could add to 6 0. Yeah, but he needs to be careful and not get a turnover. But absolutely, if he can get off the field, Drini could be looking to add even more points. Remember, it was late second quarter when Bolt busted out that incredible move on Drini. 
It may well be the Snickers moment of the year. We'll have to wait and see about that, but certainly about the most memorable spin that we've seen in Madden. And on fourth and four, it's going to be a punt. Yeah, and I, you never know because he might fake the punt because here's a guy, again, one of the first people to introduce the fake punt a long time ago, and he puts his Bo Jackson there, so it's his best player taking the snap. And you must believe he knows every defense that a fake punt could probably get four yards on. Trini, who has already won a Madden Bowl. Josh Lewin with Michael Skimbo, who won Madden 17. Madden Bowl 17, three years ago today. Starting a run of Skimbo hogging three belts over six tournaments at that point. Sayers gets just mauled by Calvin Johnson in the backfield. This is interesting, what I like to see with the clock. Volt has two timeouts, Drini has none. I, I, Drini is probably gonna snap this ball with five seconds in my opinion if I was him because you don't want Volt to have any chance to break one off with his Bo Jackson. Look for him to try to end the half. Well, he can take this all the way down here to about seven seconds left if he wants to. And content to go up 6-0 at the break. Although we, we point out, we'll see Volt getting the ball here coming out. Gail Sayers, ooh, and he almost was able to shake free. That would have been... <laughs> A little bit ironic because Volt, of course, did that right at the end of the half to Drini when they met for 25 grand in the Madden Club Championship. Exactly. I was about to say that. How how great would that feel? It wouldn't feel better than Volt's because it won 100,000. But that's a little payback to get uh, if you would have cribbed that one. What did Mo call it? Disgusting stick work. That, that, you know, and that run made it 21-10 Volt at the half. This is six to nothing against Volt at the half because Drini is getting it done. Drini running well, playing that very good defense, of course. That's what it takes in Madden these days. Drini seems to have figured that out. Now, we'll remind you here, if you head to the Madden Competitive Gaming Channel on YouTube, you can access each and every match from the Madden NFL 20 Bowl, every match from the MCS season too. You can see matches from the group stage. If you miss anything from today's wild card round, that'll be uploaded very shortly. The Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel, the official home for VODs of all the best matches. And as we talk money here, Volt can already look and see that he's got six figures. He can add to that here, Skimbo, and that's impressive. It is. When you make that much money off Madden, it is a, a great feeling because you're playing a video game, right? And you love playing it. When you earn that kind of money, it just makes it sweeter. Well, first or second place for Drini, by the way. Drini will pass you on the all-time money list. Bolt, meantime, he can shimmy up the tote board, too. But it, 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 we just have to remind everybody, this is single elimination now. There is no room for error, as Henry found out the hard way today. What a finish that was. That guy was up 10-zip with a couple minutes left and lost 17-10. to 10. And again, just no running room at all. Bo Jackson, eight carries, three yards for Volterax, one of the stickiest stick men in the sport. Great lab work by Drini finding this run defense. Right now, Volt's trying every run. Third and 14, he's in goal line. Like, you know, you're thinking, what Madden would you ever come out in goal line this Madden because of this Bo Jackson? Well, I can't turn the corner, and there's Ed Reed. Between Ed Reed and Calvin Johnson at safety. And, and Drini told us, I love the Calvin Johnson at safety card. Put Megatron back there. He's huge. He's got the, the 92 cap. I'll spend for it. It's, it, you know, it's just, you know, I feel like Drini has absolutely dominated this game. And it's 6-0, okay? Fumble, a pick. Gets Volt right back in the game. If you're a Drini, this is, in my opinion, the put-away drive. you got to put him away. Gale Sayers. Oh, boy. Gale Sayers. Plenty of green grass. The Kansas Comet in the end zone. Drini extending the lead on Volt. 
Ex exactly what I just said. He's been dominating. This is this is the put away drive. And you see him with that smile on his face. And I touched on it earlier. I do not know how good Vulture Axe's run defense is. I haven't seen it. I've seen people run all over him like Joe. And now I'm seeing Andrini being able to run all over him. And that's been from start to right now. This has just been, in my opinion, a dominant effort by Drini. Gail Sears used to say, give me 18 inches of daylight, that's all I need. He got the 18 inches, he got 70 yards right there. The replay coming at you from Snickers. It's just, Volt's defense is really user-based, and if that user doesn't get in there, there's not a lot of cleanup. However, with Drini, if you saw his user right there, he missed, and he has always, he, it seems like every play, he has guys swarming to the ball. They just keep swarming to the ball. He might, he might make a play with his user, but when he misses, he has guys there to make the play. Well, just like in the Madden Club Championship, Drini's got 13 points again. Jackson spinning twice. Bo Jackson finally bursting free, and Drini was clutching his chest right there, thinking, oh, no, not again. This guy's not going to ziggity-zag down the field on me again, is he? It, 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 that's exactly what he thought. You see Bo Jackson's very tired, as he should be. He's ran the ball a lot already. He had two spins, but you got to look at it this way. That was Volt's best run. He had a guy at the line of scrimmage to click on and tackle him. It wasn't like that was just a wide-open run. That was all stick work by Volt. The run defense was there. There's the run defense one more time. It's 16 yards on 12 carries for Bo Jackson, and 15 of those yards were on the run we saw just before moments ago. I I'm telling you, this kid's run defense is very impressive. Uh, but, you know, he's had a week, and Drini's hungry to win his third belt. So you knew he was in the lab all week trying to get reps on finding the best run defense possible. And so far, this is looking very, very good. Well, you've made a great point, Skimbo. The user tackling from Drini was going to have to be huge in this game. There's some right there. Because remember, in that Madden Club Championship game, Drini had tackle supreme on Pat Tillman, the former Cardinal. And a couple times, Bolt just ran right by him. Exactly, but as the year goes on, he had a speed advantage. He had probably a 90-something, 98, 99 speed Chris Johnson. Tillman was, you know, not as fast or whoever it was. Now everyone on defense is 99 speed. This is a completely different ball game than we played at the bowl. All right, so is this go for it time here late in the third quarter? I mean, you're fourth and seven here. I, I actually don't think it is. It's two possessions. I feel like you punt them, get them within the five-yard line, and then play defense. Because here's the deal. If Drini just gets one first down, he's in field goal range. Yes, it's still, still two possessions, but that's two, that's two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. In my opinion, you punt the ball here. Well, at least for now, it appears like it may be rev the engine time. He's thinking about it. Drini having called the timeout. I love the timeout. He's going to go. I get that defense set, right? I mean, this could be the ball game if you stick him. But Bo Jackson is going to get stuck. Oh, I thought he had the lane. On, Swerving man. back inside. No Drini Ooh. rocking the bandana. No says, I'm going to lasso you with that bandana and take you down. It's just that that's the story of this run defense. Not only is it good because of his user, I feel like his CPU is there to make every play with him. He's putting his defensive players in the most perfect position to help clean up with him. If my user doesn't make a play, he says, I got good enough players on defense that they will help me, and that's what I've seen. That it's just it's just been it's just been a very impressive performance by Drini. And offensively, let's go back here because you go back to, to Group A play. Volterax offensively, Skimbo is leaking oil, right? I mean, he scored 17 against Pavin, which is not a lot. 14 against Joke, 7 against Boogs, and now nothing against Drini. So if you were to draw the line, it's like a straight diagonal line down in terms of offensive production. Defense steps up here for him as we get late in the third quarter. Exactly, and Drini's going to let this go to the fourth quarter. He's in two o'clock. Let's get out of here mode as I think Volt just called his first time out, and he's doing it now, okay? He's not going to let him chew the clock. Very interested to see Drini's play call here. Yeah, big third and five. If he can convert this, he's going to be able to hit that jackpot of being able to run more clock. 
Looked like Manning had the chance to run, but he got dragged down from behind. It's a big fourth down coming now. He's okay, so he's going for it. Okay, it, it, uh, he's not kicking a field goal. He's not punting. He feels like he can get this. In my opinion, I don't like it. You're giving someone who's completely struggled a short field. You're trying to give him momentum. Folks not out of this game at all. Calvin Johnson has been so big on defense for Drini. Let's see if he can make a play for Bolt now. See Johnson stemming around. He's trying to end it. Fourth and four. Yeah, this is the kill shot. If Drini can get this first down. Plenty of time on that play clock left. So he's surveying what he's got, surveying all the options here. And again, it's 13 points on the scoreboard for Drini against Volterax. That was not enough when they met for 25 large in the Madden Club Championship in December. He'll take it to double zero here, get the flag. So now do you back up and punt? This is why this kid is special, okay? Now, he did one thing wrong and it happened the other game. I would have loved to see him hit the R1 feature because Volt's user was right there on the line of scrimmage. What's to say he doesn't jump off sides? And you, it, was, it was fourth and four. So, you know, he could have got a first down out of it. But, however, I love it. He comes out and does that and punts the ball. I'm a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of the punt, but that is great not giving Volt any kind of momentum. Trying to get it to that coffin corner and couldn't. Once again, Bo Jackson just gets mashed down to the turf here. One good run for Bo, and that's it. It, it was one good run, and you know what? It was just everything was guarded. I mean, I mean, I mean, covered. I mean, he had two guys come up and make a play. He just spun them. Once again, Bo knows the ground right now. He gets tackled hard. It is not going well for Volterax. Drini trying to get on his way towards the third belt. That would tie my boy Skimbo for most all time. And now heading to the fourth quarter with a 13-point lead. Fourth quarter presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, don't pressure me. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this Creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and Creamy Snickers. Now, five months ago, there was a scoreless fourth quarter when these combatants, Voltrax and Drini, met with a lot on the line. If it's a scoreless fourth quarter again, Drini goes forward and Volt goes home. I, I, I just keep saying it, guys. You got to look. These, these linemen are not holding blocks. These DNs are getting off of blocks. Like I said, Drini's user is tremendous, but there is nothing better when your other players on your team are help making play besides your user. And there's his user, Once again, huge stop. Calvin Johnson. Yep, Megatron on defense. And Drini, uh, he can keep this dream alive, I think, because of his defense. Volterax, known for his run game, just can't get it moving. He's in quicksand here and sinking. You know, this is why Drini's a winner, in my opinion. And I was going to say it when he punted the ball. He might not be the flashiest. He is very good on defense. His offense is very basic, but it's smart. The reason why this kid's made these kind of runs is because of the clock management. And people will tell you, you, you might not play your best game, but if you can clock manage, you're always in a game. And with him, he knows how to make sure he finishes game. And that's what separates you from a lot of people in this community. You know, when Drini tweeted out earlier this week, speed kills, I interpreted that Skimbo as his offense. I think he meant it about his defense, right? I mean, Denzel Ward and Isaiah Simmons and obviously Calvin Johnson. There are some huge plays being made here as Sayers will muscle forward and pick up four. Well, I'll go back to user's reference because he said the end game, but this Madden, it's been the end game. In the club championship, wide receivers were about the same speed or a little faster. Now it's this time of the year where everyone's got 99 speed on both sides. You can't go to 100 speed pretty much. It's 99. So passers are kind of struggling right now because they can't get over the top like they should. So, but that's what I'm saying. Speed kills. His defense is so much faster now and better overall in stats than it was in the club championship. And as Gail Sayers has outrushed the golden ticket Bo Jackson by 120 yards, that looks like it'll carry Drini forward. 
And kick Voltrax right out of this tournament. I, I love the nail call, okay? I'm, I'm a big I'm fan ready. of this play style because a lot of guys would just keep running the ball and put themselves in a danger, maybe a hit stick fumble that could maybe give Volt some life. He's going to nail the ball. He doesn't even want to risk a hit stick fumble or a, a handoff that just somehow gets fumbled. He is going to just, just nail this out. Uh, and then I'll be actually curious because it's two possessions anyway if he'll even risk getting his field goal block. But I'm very impressed with Drini from start to finish. This has been one of the most impressive performances I've ever seen him have in a tournament game. Well, and it's funny because it kind of turns the tables on Bolt. It's not sexy. There's no pizzazz. There's no razzmatazz. It is just methodical, and it's a killer because we're down to 118 to go, and it's about to be 16 zip. Exactly, and when he did have to pass the ball, Josh, he stepped up in the pocket, trusted his pocket, and he made reads and he made dots that moved the chains. And like I said, Volt's defense, uh, run defense wasn't the best. So when you can run the ball and you can pass the ball when you have to, that's when having a balanced attack is important because you can see for Volt, he doesn't have that style. He just has to run. He had nothing to go back on. And it, don't get me wrong, it won him $100,000, and it was unreal when he did it. However, in this tournament, it wasn't the best in the world for him. Well, there's a little bit of burst from Bo Jackson, but go back to that Madden Club Championship when Chris Johnson for Volt was averaging nine yards a carry. Bo Jackson has averaged one yard a carry, and that's made all the difference here. It's just, he's just fishing. He's just fishing. He keeps throwing his line out to see if he can find something. He's just trying to find a run, and so far there's literally been not a single run that he's called that's looked good. So is this a flash in the pan with Volterax? I mean, he just dazzled everybody on the way to that belt back in December. But has the league figured him out? What does Volt have to do now? Well... The top players have just figured out run defense, Josh. Okay, a lot of people will complain on Twitter, the Twitch chat, run this, run that. This is what I've always liked about these top players like Drini. When the going gets tough, they're going to dig deep and find the run defense that not a lot of people can find. And this has been the most impressive run defense. Him and Kiv's run defense have, in my opinion, have been the most impressive I've seen. Now, Drini starts with D, right? He will end with D and take a shutout going forward against a guy that's already won a belt this year. 22-year-old Michael Bryant. It's been a nice run for him, obviously. But it's going to be back to the, the capital D drawing board for him. This is a fourth and 14. But obviously, his season is just about to end. Is there one last piece of magic with the run game? No, sir. That's probably about the right way to end this, huh? Because it was all dreamy all day with the defense. Yes, it's just, you know what? Shout out to Bolt, though. He's had a great year. And as people say in the Twitch chats all the time, put your GG in there. I want to see him. I don't see him enough. Drini still has those dreams.